All right, so what does it actually mean to be born again? Because here's what should actually just scare the crap out of people who call themselves Christians. A lot of people say and and often think that they're born again, but but many of them aren't. Now, when you're physically born into this world, you're born with sin. And whether you want to believe that or not is like its own video, but you are. Arguably, it's even worse than that. See, Jesus tells a bunch of unbelieving Pharisees in John 8, that you are of your father, the devil. See, because when you're naturally born in this world full of sin, you belong to the devil. He's your father. And when you say it like that, it's really freaky. What happens is when you're born again, there's this spiritual transformation that's taking you out of the house of the devil and placing you into the household of God. So you're going from this human state of loving the world and being a part of the world to acceptance and belief in Christ as your ultimate sacrifice, which opens your ears and eyes and makes you a child of God's household. But see, here's the tragic problem. Many in the church have convinced society and their church body that being born again is as simple as saying a prayer. Like, congratulations, you did the thing. And then the church gets to add this little little tally, right? Like, we, we saved 45 people this quarter. We had X people born again. Praying and and asking God into your life and to fill you with the Holy Spirit, that's important. Like, that is extremely important. But it has to be genuine, and it it is only the first step in a lifelong process if you're doing it to try and check a box or because you think it's the right thing to do, but you don't really believe anyway. That's, that's not the answer, and you can't just say the prayer, and then you're like, well, worst case scenario, I'll be all right if there is a God. Paul Washer once said, this is great, Conversion is not like a flu shot. Oh, I did that. I repented. I believed. The question is, my friend, are you continuing to repent of sin? Are you continuing to believe? See, the Bible never tells us that we can be born again, but continue to live the same sinful life. You cannot just say a prayer and then like, poof, well, if there's a God, I'm fine. When you are born again, your life with God starts now. What I am telling you is that if you are not changed, if you are the same person five years after asking God into your life as you were five years before you asked God into your life, there's a good chance the devil is still your father. And I explain all this because of the fact that one of the biggest errors in the church and that so many Christians have fallen victim to is the the great lie that saying a prayer and going to church on Easter is magically going to get you an eternity in this amazing place in heaven. One of what I consider the scariest passages in the Bible is Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Go go and read it. Like when this video is over or just stop the video right now and, and go read it because it 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 talks about how on that day, many will say that they worked many things in God's name, but he will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. See, it's not about saying this prayer or checking this box or being better than your neighbor. It's about a a true belief in God. And, And this belief should just have deep changes in your soul. Now, if you're new to Christianity or or even if you're not but have not spent time working to understand this, it can sound really weird and, and probably pretty confusing. And there are two things that I recommend if you still have questions. First is to check this video up over here where I spend more like 15 minutes diving into this topic a little deeper. And second, spend time praying and reading your Bible and going to church. Like just, if you don't know, start there. Find someone to talk to and just open your Bible. So many people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't actually do it. They don't, the average Christian is biblically illiterate. And if you don't spend time to work out your salvation and understand God's kingdom, you'll never find the wisdom to understand your own questions and the answers that you seek. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.